Hey, heroes, welcome back. Thanks for answering the call. Uh, here we go, um, Sir Matt. We're going to start talking about the prologue. Uh, you and I just had a little conversation about the idea, like, what do you do with the prologue to the eye of the world? Loose there in the, the, the age of legends. How do we incorporate that? How is Rafe Judkins going to incorporate that into the show? It's a great question, right? Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of possibilities. Uh, one possibility is you don't. Uh, and you just, right. you just, I mean, you think about just, we know that it's eight episodes, right? Uh, just from that, from that video where he came out that, that Jordan con video. So, right. or you go with, you know, I think back to game of Thrones, right? You think about, um, and just trying to find a TV show of this scale that's similar. Uh, so I think game of Thrones season one, episode one there, the prologue in that, um, you know, they, they show the men walking out, they get attacked by the white Walker and then that's kind of it. Um, yeah. in that though, you kind of have to show it because then you immediately cut to, you know, Ned Stark cutting the guys, the guys, the guy's head off. That's so right. you need that. Okay, here you go. I mean, they could have necessarily not done it, but just like, Oh, he's a deserter from the wall. And, and you could have skipped that out. Yeah, that's but, true. That's true. But, um, so here I think you could, you could cut it out and save it for later if you, if you wanted, but if you did want to show it, um, Maybe it just show it just starts with like like almost you think like a battle right between Luce Theron and, and Balzaman and it's just oh. and it's just them kind of going back and forth yeah. back and forth or something or yeah um, yeah yeah I, yeah I don't well know. I don't know I mean yeah yeah I like that I like that thought a lot and what I was thinking uh, was more sort of like how the Lord of the Rings started like the, the even though it's movies. Um, you know, it kind of starts off with uh, Gladriel talking about the rings. So then you used someone who, when you first started, you know, watching that, like, you don't even know who that voice is. You don't, it doesn't even register until later on. But like, yeah, it was like, like they, that's a pretty big deal. And she's giving you an intro to the past and just sort of, you're seeing flashes of it and images, maybe not quite like you see, um, like the nine step out with their rings and the seven, the dwarves step out and then the elves step out. And that was enough. You, sh you, you showed some people, they step back into the shadows, they step back in, step back out. I mean, maybe they do something where they show a council uh, there, they, they show some of these old Aes Sedai, they show the Hundred Companions. Maybe, like you said, they show a bit of war with like a voiceover that's happening. And and then, I don't know if we're going to get any of that actual dialogue with um, with like Luce Theron. I, I just don't know that's going to happen. I think it's going to be someone talking over over him, and we're going to get to see his actions or him going mad. You know, to see a man channeling, going mad and going crazy and just and destroying the world. Um, you know, creating Dragon Mount. The whole thing could be happening in 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 that regard. I I think that's how you'd have to do it. It had to be pretty quick. Yeah, you, and then yeah, you may also see. Um, this is how I would probably start the show. Is you start with you know the wheel of time weaves right, and you and you and you're doing that. Uh -huh. And as you're as you're doing that, whoever the narrator is, you're showing all of these events that have happened over time. So that's where maybe you show some of that loose there and stuff, um, because again, you know, one of the things you have to think about is. We, uh, they may be setting stuff up to be displayed differently than it, you know, in the book you have, you're talking, you know, a lot of books, you can take a lot of time to slowly build. They may not do that. So they may, um, you know, in what I think is probably going to be episode two, we'll get to that where Rand has his mm -hmm. first dream. Um, he may, instead of be dreaming as much of Balsamon, he may be dreaming, himself as loose Theron a little bit more just so you can kind of introduce that character um, a little bit more yeah. so his dreams may be totally different than they are because you've got to think you know if this is going to be maybe eight seasons instead of you know 14 or whatever then you've got to really kind of speed things along so a lot of these things may happen a lot quicker than I think you know we we read yeah. in the books well, I think that's, a, that's why it's important to, if you actually are going to cast someone to play Luce Theron and, and they're there, is this person going to be we're gonna have this, the same actor weaving through? Is it someone who we're going to get glimpses of, you know, uh, as you say, when Rand is in Teleron Riyadh, like, is that sort of something that's going to happen? Uh, or is it like, I mean, yeah, how do you depict that? Because maybe it is sort of for those who it's not confusing, those who are viewing, you know, when he... 
you know, when he's called loose there and, and, and we're going to get to all this later, like it makes more sense because you have an actor to sort of show the merging of the two and to see them coming together. Maybe. Right. I like that. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think I think it's just there's going to be a lot of stuff cut out. Um, I mean, there's, it's just impossible. It's the only way you could you could you could do it. And a lot of things, I think maybe the pace may be picked up or you may see some some things that happen in book two or book five. You know, you may see just elements of them happen, you know, earlier just so we can kind of speed things along. True. Very true. I think that's something we got to look at. I think a lot of people are just looking at book one and saying, you know, how, how is it going to look? But there may be things that happen much later on that we're going to weave that character in sooner. And I like that. I actually like that a lot. So we'll, we'll talk more about that later on. But uh, yeah, for, for this, I, I really think you have an opportunity to hook your audience big time with Luce there and in this in this this war that took place that during the, the age of legends. I mean, it's, it's the great, what gets you into eye of the world is that prologue. You're like, Oh my. And then there's prophecies afterwards that are read. Um, I, yeah. So I feel like you have to incorporate it in, in some way and it needs to be epic. Grab your attention because then we're going to go back to this mundane, you know, um, at Emmons field and kind of go from there. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, stay tuned. Ez and I are going to start breaking down what we think is going to happen. Episode one, episode two, episode three. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And remember that the horn has sounded. <laughs>